Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your October 28th, 2023 Full Moon Lunar Eclipse reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps this channel out immensely. It helps me out immensely. So thank you so much for doing so. And if you put a pumpkin emoji in the comment box, you will be eligible to receive. I have to pick my words carefully so bots don't come to try and scam you guys. But you will be eligible to receive a reading from me, which will be announced in a separate video, not by me contacting you in the comment box below. I will not be doing that, okay? But by a separate video announcing who will receive a, a reading from me. And that's going to be if you like, comment, and and subscribe, but comment a pumpkin emoji, okay? If you're interested in any of the com of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. And if you're interested in a private reading, a private personalized meditation, or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Let me just raise my mic. Okay. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels Ooh, goodness okay. and spirit guides so we have the chariot reversed we have the two of wands we have the five of wands reversed the seven of swords reverse and the four of swords reversed so this is not a bad reading at all i know when people hear reverse cards we think oh no oh my gosh but with the five of wands reversed that is an end to chaos to pettiness to to pettiness and the seven of of swords is a lie being released and so that's a very good thing you have the repeat of the number seven seven is a truth number right so seven is a number that it's bringing forward a lot of truth during this time, which is interesting with the seven of air because a lie is coming out and we're going to see ourselves moving forward. But with the chariot reverse, we're not feeling like we're moving forward, Scorpio. And we can also just have a lot of emotions coming forward and feeling all over the place. So do be mindful about that during this time. We also need to rest and honor our story, which we're going to find hard to do. We're going to want to push and push and push and push and push and just think, okay, I can work through it. No, we have to connect and we have to slow down. And that is going to be one of the most important things that we can do because we're going to see doors open during this time. We're going to see ourselves open to new possibilities and new avenues forward. And that's going to be a really great thing, but we have to slow down and take it in first. So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels. This is hope reversed. So it's interesting here because what's really shining through also is the green in the dress, which is the heart chakra, and also in Qigong, that is the liver energy. So really releasing anger and fear and embracing what we love, but there's also a fear around love and truly embracing what we desire. Hope was the last thing left in Pandora's box when she let out all chaos onto the world. People were left with hope and hope is what we need. 
So feeling hopeless can make us feel overwhelmed and small and insignificant. Spirit is saying, connect again to the hope. And in our world and turning on the news, it can feel like there isn't any hope. And there is. Spirit wants you to know that there is hope and there is beauty. It's time to connect with it. It's time to plant the seeds inside of us. We can't change the world. But we can by embracing love, by moving forward in caring and compassion, and having that beautiful energy radiate outward into the world. It will not change the world overnight, but it will change the world. It will. It just it's it's just frustrating because it's so much slower than anger and hurt and pain and fear. It's, it just is. And that could be making us feel hopeless. Don't let the chaos of the world take away your hope. Don't let it, Scorpio. Our energy that spirit wants us to be mindful of. <clears throat> Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Is the two of cups, healing beautiful love. And that sounds like a silly thing to be mindful of. But spirit is saying here that there's there's a healing that's coming forward, right? And And it's something that we're going to be, it's like we're working more towards this than the other person is. We're working more towards this healing. And Spirit is saying here, be mindful that we might be trying to heal the wrong thing. Connect with your inner self. Connect with your inner healing. Connect with your inner love. But make sure people are meeting you halfway. Don't do all the work all by yourself. Okay? And this isn't saying to be mean or cruel or hurtful to anybody. But make sure also that you are be, being valued and honored in this world. The chariot reverse. Now this is cancer energy, time frame of June 21st to July 22nd. We in feel with this full moon, with this lunar eclipse, you know, as a water sign energy in cancer is also water sign energy. We can feel the power of this moon so intensely, Scorpio. And what's really intense here is that our emotions can be running amok. They can be you know, other people's emotions can be running amok. It's almost like, it's almost like chaos has a bigger say in our world than, than harmony does. And that's not necessarily going to be the case, but it is how it feels. So stepping back, not getting immediately like invested in everything, like every chaos, every hurt, every pain is going to be so important for us because I just see a lot of people coming to us with their chaos and we're going to go right into fix it mode, Scorpio. We're going to go right into, okay, let's, you know, feel together, move this forward. And we're not going to be able to change the course of, of other people's emotions. And that's going to be something that can be very hard for us during this time. But stepping back, knowing that emotions are running high and we can't get in the middle of, we can't get in the middle of it. We have to kind of like, let, I'm just seeing like water off a duck's back, let the emotions roll over us but not take us down, okay? That's going to be a very, very, very important thing. Doors are opening. Absolutely, positively, Scorpio, doors are opening to us. We are opening, we are We are seeing new ways forward. We are embracing flight. You know, there's a sense of, there's going to be new explorations to come forward. There's going to be new things that we want to do. We're going to be expanding and growing and going after. And it really feels like we are embracing a new world. It really does. And with this new world opening up to us and these doors opening, we are leaving behind a lot of the pettiness. That's why Spirit is also saying here, like, don't let other people's emotions kind of wash over us and, and take us down. But also, don't get involved in, in the pettiness of the world. Don't get involved in the, in the pettiness of others. This is a time where we look at things. And this is just pettiness. This is anger for the sake of anger. This is chaos for the sake of chaos. And this is saying, stop. This is, this is like gossipy, you know, hurtful, hateful energy. And spirit is saying here, no, it is time to stop. It is time to embrace love and peace and harmony and beauty. And to look at these things and say, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And I'm just saying like at work, people being very gossipy. It's like, don't. And I know it's going to be hard and people can think, oh, you think you're better than me. And oh, you know, you... And I just see people being really petty about this. But Spirit is saying here with this full moon and this lunar eclipse, you're looking at the seeds that you want to plant for the best future forward for you, Scorpio. And this is going to be a time where you're like, I'm wasting my energy and I don't want to waste my energy anymore. 
Also, there's a lie that's coming out that's based off of pettiness, all right? And it's kind of like, why have I been believing this? Now, it can be a lie that somebody told us. It could be a thought that we've had about ourselves that we're realizing that is just so not true. And we're like, why did this seep into me? And why did I believe it for so long? Because I'm seeing for some of us, between five and seven years, for some of us, we believe this lie that just isn't right, isn't true, and has been holding us back. And spirit's like, it's time to release it. Seven is also, seven is a truth number, but seven is also going to be, because we have the repeat of number seven, this is a time where we can be called out for like the littlest of like white lies. People will be like, oh, well, you didn't really mean that. or Oh, you didn't say that. Whereas other people are going to lie hugely during this time. And people will just let it go. Oh, that's just them. It's like, no, not cool. Not okay. So just be aware of that during this time. That's going to be something where you're really guided by truth and you're really guided by, by honesty and integrity. So, so knowing that you see truthfulness very, very easily during this time. It's like a bright light that shines and you follow that light forward. There is also a sense here of, of being freed. There's a sense of being freed from negative thoughts, hurtful attitudes, you know, things that were really holding you back, Scorpio. Make sure you rest with the four of swords reversed. It will be very, very easy to burn the candle at both ends. It will be very, very easy to not honor your story, not think you're doing well enough and put extra burdens on your shoulders. Stop. Stop it right now. The Four of Swords is saying, step back, honor everything that you've been through. Whether you think it's a big deal or not, it's a big deal to you. It's your life. You matter. Honor your story and release the burden to be perfect, okay? Or the burden to achieve and achieve and achieve. Step back and embrace loving yourself and slowing things down. That is going to be so important during this full moon and this lunar eclipse to slow it down and connect with loving you. So let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. That's funny. It's funny that meditate and contemplate is the upright card for us. Everything else is like, oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But it's like, okay, I believe I need to meditate and I believe I need to contemplate. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. So it's really interesting here is that we have the realization reversed and we have believe in the impossible reversed. Now we have a lot of emotions coming forward. It can feel like a lot of chaos coming forward. And it really stops us from believing in the impossible because believing in the impossible is like believing in ourselves, right? And it can almost seem impossible that we are going to achieve and succeed everything that we want. The realization is that we are the key to slow it down and not let every emotion hit us so hard. It sounds silly to say, but we're just feeling things so intensely during this time. And yet we're not thinking it. We see it right here with emotions running high. That's reverse. We don't think the emotions are running high. We can actually feel like everything's just a little bit dulled, but that's because we're feeling things so intensely that we've kind of dulled our emotions or we've stepped back and, and you know, kind of pulled away from certain things. Coming to the realization that we are the key, that we need to step forward for ourselves and love ourselves and, you know, embrace love and, and beauty and, and calm, that is going to be so important. It leads us to a place of balance. During this time, as the doors open, walking forward in balance, emotions are running high. Again, that's reversed. We don't feel that way. We don't feel necessarily that emotions are running high. We can just feel that things are more intense or a little bit off. But again, that is because we're feeling everything so intensely and probably too intensely at times where we've kind of like just turned that off. And spirit is saying here, no, 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 no. Emotions are running high. Embrace the balance. But for us, Scorpio, we need to feel. We need to feel, but not be drowned by emotions. So being aware of that is going to be super, super, super important for us during this time. Beauty. Beauty is reversed. We can not be seeing the beautiful in things, but we can also not be surrounding ourselves with beauty. 
we can feel like, you know, I just need to push forward. I just need to get things done. We have be bold and make the first move also reversed. So with the five of wands, with the chaos, with fighting for the sake of fighting, we don't want to be bold and make the first move because we've been so used to fighting in chaos and, you know, things being misunderstood and everything kind of going pear-shaped. And it's taken away the beauty from our world and the beauty from ourselves. Again, we're in a Taurus moon, right? A Taurus lunar eclipse. It's so important to see the beautiful in the day to day. And I love this card. And I think it's so funny because I've been using these cards for a really long time. And it took me forever to see that this is a face, an outline of the face, lips, nose, eyes, eyebrow. It's beauty in the natural world. And that's what Spirit is saying here. We're not seeing the beauty in the natural world or even our natural beauty. So we're not being bold and making the first move because we're not seeing the beauty within us. And we need to see and connect with that beauty, with that love, with that brilliance of us. Patience. Are we going to have a lot of patience during this time? No. No. We are going to want things to move forward a heck of a lot more quickly than they are. And that seems to be a recurring theme right now with this lunar eclipse and this full moon is that we want things to be moving faster than they are. And we don't feel like things are moving fast enough. And yet things are moving too fast for us at the same exact time. And so we get overwhelmed. But be patient. We're not going to want to be. We're going to think, oh no, the P word, you know, as my mother always says, you know, oh no, the P word. But here, meditate and contemplate to embrace our patience, to calm things, things down, to center with ourselves. We're going to be feeling that. We're going to be feeling like, I just need to center me. I just need to see me. I just need to connect with me, right? And yet we don't even feel like we have the patience to meditate, which can be understandable. Meditation is, is hard. But slowing things down, and saying that I matter during this time. Scorpio, say to that to yourself, I matter. And just feel that for a moment. What does that make you feel like? How does that make you feel to say that I matter? I, Scorpio, matter. And you can change Scorpio with your name to let you know that you matter. And just to meditate and contemplate on mattering and being a part of the world and connecting. Be patient with yourself. Your portal is opening in the sky. Most people never expect that, right? Your portal to open up in the sky, to move you forward in ways that you hadn't imagined. It moves us into the darkness. The darkness isn't a bad thing. The darkness is connecting with the universe. The darkness is, is the new moon that comes after a full moon. It is connection. It is understanding. But it is connecting with the universe. It is saying, I am in the universe. And the universe is in my body. I am the universe and the universe is me. Stardust runs through our veins and that's just not poetry. It's not. It's science. A time for healing is reverse because what we're trying to heal, what we're trying to meet somebody halfway with, it isn't working. So we're going to think, oh, a time for healing is over. It's not going to be. But it's a time for healing because spirit is saying, slow down. Honor everything that you've been through, everything that you are. Rest and connect. Let the darkness in, which sounds scary to do, but is simply letting yourself connect with the greater with the greater world, but with the silence of the world, not the chaos of the world. It leads us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. Not mindful of energy from spirit. This is tranquility. We need the tranquility. We need the peace. We need to slow things down and connect. What does tranquility look like for you? I love the phases of the moon in this card. I just think this card is so pretty. Connecting with the different faces of us, the different themes of our life, everything that we've been through, everything we will be going through, connecting, grounding, sharing, loving. It moves us from tranquility to the energy we need to be mindful of, which is the four of pentacles, the empiric energy trying to pull us back. There's an energy around us. We see it with the five of wands reversed, the seven of swords reversed. It's like there's that fighting that we're releasing. There's the lies that we're releasing. They're trying to pull us back. It's like, no, you can't let go. I won't let you. But the thing is, Scorpio, we can and we are letting go. 
the energy to be mindful of is that vampiric energy that wants to pull us back, keep us small, keep our treasures locked away, make us feel drained, make us feel like we can't connect with our world and ourselves when we absolutely can. And we absolutely are connected. Channeling that can be difficult at times or trying, but we have the seven, again, another seven, the seven of wands. And the seven of wands subconsciously is feeling like I always have to fight. I always have to defend, right? I need the higher ground, but I love this card because it's the unicorn, you know, prancing on top of, top of a hill. It's like, I'm going to be magic. And by being magic, I win. I have the high ground. So by embracing our magic and our tenacity and our beauty and just our pure and utter Scorpioness that confuses everybody and has everybody like, hmm, I don't really get you type of thing. But just that, that being able to walk between worlds, the conscious world and the spiritual world is so beautiful and so important. Embrace your magic and then just own it like a unicorn. Own it like a unicorn. It brings us to our subconscious. Luna message, which is, it's a time to give rather than take, is reversed. And then self-reflection. Self-reflection is also reversed. We are having a hard time reflecting on ourselves, seeing ourselves. A time to give rather than take is reversed. We need to take. <laughs> we need to fill up our cup. And remember in Qigong, they say, you need a gallon to fill a cup. We need to start filling ourselves up because we're drained and we're overwhelmed and we can't create. And if we can't create Scorpio, we don't really feel like we're existing. So be aware of that. All right, Scorpio, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. Now, don't forget to put a pumpkin emoji in the comment box below. And now let's take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And have a blessed moon. Bye.